I told Larry, don't be singing songs around me mm -hmm. that I can't take back to the hood. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah, that's I'm singing the, mama, the mamas and the papas. Next thing you know, you in your car with your boy talking about. Mama... <laughs> <laughs> Talk about singing in the rain. No, Larry no. did this to me. <laughs> Woo! I'm so excited! This is season two of One Course with J.B. Smooth. More amazing conversations, more laughs, more food, ha! and even more me. We're going to talk, we're going to have a good time, as usual. And there you have it, a fully loaded Caesar salad for a new fully loaded season two of One Course with J.B. Smooth, presented by Caesar Sports. Bon appetit! <laughs> you know what? There are all sorts of goods in this world. Good food, good friends, good times. Our next guest used to be responsible for a weekly good cry. Please welcome to One Course with J.B. Smooth, Susan Kalechi. Watson, please! <laughs> <laughs> What's up, girl? Hey. hey! How are you doing? Isn't it crazy how you can meet everybody around somebody, mm -hmm. but not land on them and meet not them? That, Isn't not, that weird? Not, and now, listen. That made no sense. Sometimes it's the right time. It's the right time. It's the right time. I'm happy, I'm happy I owe you no money. <laughs> you know, I, I got you. Where my money, JB? I would've came. Then we would've seen each other. <laughs> we would've seen each other. See? This is this, my setup. This is my setup. Yeah. Man, <laughs> we doing good. Look at us, look at us. Cheers to us. Cheers to us. Mm -hmm. How about this? Look, this is amazing food. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite restaurants is called Cadence. Cadence, okay. Chef Shinari is here today, and she always lays it out. I, I ain't trying to, you know, uh -huh. I ain't trying to say it, but some people, I look at them and, and try to judge if they cornbread people. I, Are you a could cornbread? You tell? Are you a cornbread girl? I am. Ooh. You're going to try to put a piece in your pocket when you leave, or your purse. <laughs> you see with a piece of cornbread in their purse? I've seen, listen, I've seen a little bit of everything in a purse. <laughs> the black woman's purse is serious. It's serious. Yeah, it ain't playing. anything you need. And I'm serious about that crying stuff. Okay. I didn't just throw that out there, like, you know. It's funny, like, you know, it makes so many people cry, and it's funny, like, literally, we're backstage, like, laughing. All oh. the time. Well, we were, you know. Yeah. I mean, but, like, it was all the time. It was just such a fun, maybe it was, like, to... I don't know, combat the blues of it all, but like it was really a fun time. I think when you're on a show like that, or any show, I think you have to find this thing that connects you guys. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you start having fun. And then it becomes an extension of a family yeah. that you play on TV, yeah. but it's, an, it's another family within the family. Yeah, so our show was like so sad and then we laugh backstage. Like mm. if you're on Curb, are y'all like dead serious backstage? We, we dive into, uh, serious things sometimes off camera mm -hmm. and we'll just talk about things mm -hmm. but then we'll laugh a lot okay you know larry hasn't even seen purple rain per what? you barely know who prince is no that's not a thing how how do you not know who prince yeah. he was talking about guitarists i said no you can't talk about guitarists without talking about prince, prince. Man. are you kidding me yeah who did he who did he bring up who was his uh some old dude some dude who played in black and white you know what i mean some, okay gotcha some old, some old cat is this what it sounds like when doves cry? Because I'm upset. What? Yeah. I, now you're you going to cry. Now you're going to cry. And, and you from a crying show. You see what I'm saying? I was trying to keep it light. But Larry, <laughs> thanks, Larry Davis. Woo. Born in Brooklyn, mm -hmm. yes, which, is a, which is a badge of honor. Went to Howard University. I sure did. Yeah, HBCU, mm -hmm. um, Omaha State University. Hello. Hello. Yes. <laughs> you went to the Tisch School of the Arts. Yep. You were a dancer. Yep. And you were about to quit the business. I was. And became a waitress in Montreal. <laughs> and this is us. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's kind of how it went, yeah, if you want to wrap it up like that. <clears throat> you know, you get tired of being broke, yeah. tired, you know, disgusted. Yeah. And so um, you come up with other plans. You're like, all right, maybe I, maybe I had it wrong. Maybe I messed it up. Maybe I need to rethink this whole thing. And so I was like, well, where would bring me joy? Where do I love? Where, where's some place that I could go and like life is a little easier, the more bang for my buck? Started thinking about Montreal. I was like, listen, I can go there. I'll learn some French. I'll be in a cafe. Mm. I'll serve coffee. I will live an easy <laughs> life. You know, yeah. I will. And then like. Literally, I had that plan going, and like wow. a week later, I was getting the call about This Is Us. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. uh, you're also into yoga, I heard. I am. I'll be honest. Yoga for me is a straight up workout. Mm. That's really why I come to it. Mm -hmm. It's like I, I come from a dance background, and so I love anything where my body can just go. Now, yoga is amazing. Yeah. Now, I, I could see red love yoga, but it's hard to concentrate and center yourself in hot yoga. I don't do hot yoga. It, it's I don't so, mess with it. It's, it's too hot. It's too hot. It's, too it's hot. in the name. It's not right. A yeah. lot of people do this hot yoga and they don't feel like they're not doing yoga until they do hot yoga. Right? <laughs> but to Man. me, you do one pose in hot yoga, you're sweating. That's it. It's deceptive because no. it's so hot in there. I do it, man. I couldn't function. Pass out. We, my wife took me to uh, hot yoga mm -hmm. and we went to hot yoga. Let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting on the ground trying to do stuff. Mm -hmm. I can hear the squishing between my butt cheeks yeah. of sweats. Yeah, and that was some other people's butt cheeks too. It wasn't just yours. That was a cacophony of butt Everybody cheeks. Everybody butt cheeks is yeah, squeaking. Yeah, that was a lot. And then after the class, mm -hmm. the instructor, you know, thanks for coming today. You had a good time today. Mm -hmm. I, was, the truth. I was honest. I said, no. <laughs> <laughs> Would you be coming back? No. Mm -hmm. uh, my wife might come back, but mm -hmm. I, you will not see me again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you even see me, if you even see me in Costco, don't say nothing to don't me. Don't say nothing. Just keep walking. We ain't never meet. Yeah. We ain't never meet. I don't know you like that. I don't know you like that. Mm -hmm. This has been wonderful. Mm -hmm. This cornbread is popping. You know, I'm trying to figure out what. <laughs> what? Just keep talking. What you look? Yeah. To I'm stop. Just... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Wait, mm -hmm. eyes. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Way out of here. I need to know three movies mm -hmm. that make you cry. I got it for you because I'm not a big mm -hmm. crier, so I got mm -hmm. it for you mm -hmm. off the top. The first one, Beaches. Oh, okay. The Notebook. Mm -hmm. is, is, it, is it that movie, The Traveling Pants? What's that called? Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. That made you cry. Them damn pants traveling like that? <laughs>